Sean Sewell with InGimmick.com and our beautiful yet chilly mountains of Colorado to test out the Born Outdoors Sleep System. This thing right here. This is a self-contained sleeping system comprised of a Thermarest extra long, extra wide sleeping pad, fitted sheets, a top sheet, and your choice of synthetic or down quilts. All rolls up and stuffs into here. It's a really cool setup. Um, I first met Stuart Bourne, retired Army Ranger, at an OMA event two summers ago. We hit it off, and I've been very curious about this system for two years. They just sent it over, so we're going to be testing it out for the next two weeks. Up here, our usual testing spot in Colorado at Jones Pass. Temperatures right now are around 40 degrees. The sun just went down. There's a few deer just out of sight. The leaves are changing because it is fall. It is beautiful and it's gonna get cold tonight. So I'm gonna get a good chance to test this system out. Stuart and the team over at Born sent over all the accessories too. So I'll test out the synthetic quilt, the down quilt, the inflation devices, the 120 league portage bag right here, and all the accessories. So lots covering this fun review. Let's get into it. All right, what do we think about the system? One, I think it's fantastic. It might be the best night of sleep I've had uh, this year. Not saying quite a bit because I get to camp two times a week, year round, and I get to test some really good gear. And I think the reason it's so good of a night of sleep is because it utilizes components of gear that I've used previously that I've given high ratings to. Namely, the Thermarest Mondo King XX sleeping bag. That thing is my favorite. I have two of these, and I'll show you this one in a second, as well as a two-person one, and we use them all the time. They're made in the USA. They're awesome. So that is one secret to success. But the real secret to success here is it's an entire system that can be packed up. Like I showed you in the beginning of the video, it's packed up to a relatively large size, but once you see how big the mattress is, you understand why. So well, let's deconstruct this whole thing, okay? So I showed it to you rolled up, and then I'll show you a picture of the clip. There's three clips, you unclip that, and then the bed roll unrolls, and then you get all the good stuff. So you start off with this bivy sack. Now, I think a bivy sack, like on a ledge, you know, like a little packable emergency shelter. No, this is basically, if a bivy, and a bed had a baby, <laughs> it would be this, uh, a big, big baby. These walls are padded and insulated and robust. The bottom is waterproof, so you can put that right into the elements. If you don't trust that, you can purchase the optional footprint, which is that bigger part of waterproof fabric you see right there. It goes around and attaches in all four corners with snaps. And then you get into the secret sauce, the mattress. So the mattress, like I, I shared with you, is the Thermarest Mondo King, this guy right here. It's just amazing. Not only is it very luxurious and very thick, it's very warm. The R value is off the charts, full on four season camping. I've camped down negative 15 degrees, absolutely no problem. It's somewhat self-inflating. What that means is over here, you're gonna have an inflation valve and you're gonna open it up and it's gonna inflate, but to speed the process up, you can purchase on their website, this little guy right here. It's called the Neo Air Micro Pump. It's pretty quiet, but it attaches to the mouthpiece right here like so, and then boom. It's not the most powerful pump. There definitely are faster, more larger, faster pumps. Uh, but this one, I figure about five to seven minutes can set it and forget it. So I put it on here, went and hung out with my dog and had a beverage. You can go tend to the fire, get dinner going, what have you, but you get the idea. It's not gonna happen in a minute, but it's a great tool to inflate this sizable pad that is gonna be the secret to a good night's sleep. Then you get these really awesome fitted sheets. A fitted sheet is gonna fit around the pad. Before I get to that, there are straps in all four corners that keep the pad in place. So you're not gonna be sliding around in your tent or outside or in your RV, but the fitted sheets go around the sleeping pad. And then you get another sheet, a regular sheet right here. And they're very soft, nice jersey material. And what's nice about having sheets, which I've never really used sheets before, is you can wash them. <laughs> Obviously, prior to that, my sleeping bags would get a bath every, every month or two. Uh, sometimes they needed it more often, but I just was too lazy. And oftentimes if you're washing sleeping bags and quilts, especially they're down, they clump up and it becomes a process to get that down to unclump. 
this just saves you a step there. Plus it's really comfortable against your skin having sheets just like you would at home, right? Then we can get to the quilts. There's two options. There is a synthetic quilt right here and there's the down quilt. I say they're about both equally warm. The synthetic has 21 ounces of fill. The down one has 14 and a half ounces of 650 fill. So some nerds out there are gonna start crunching math and talking about insulative properties and this and that. I'm gonna tell you how I used it. This morning when I woke up, it was 15 degrees. Uh, I got a picture at 7 a.m. of 19 degrees. So it got cold enough last night. The water from my dog's bowl froze. We had, uh, on the first take of this video, we had <laughs> snow crystals all over here and the grass was frozen. So got cold enough, right? I definitely have camped in cooler temperatures and I certainly will. Uh, usually throughout the winter, I'll get into about negative 10, negative 15 is where I call it. Uh, that just starts to get unpleasant, even with the good gear. But 15 degrees Fahrenheit, absolutely no problem. I didn't even put gloves on, and that's just me being silly. Back to the quilt. So you got the synthetic right here, and you have the down. I started the night off with the down, and about 2 a.m. I woke up and switched out to the synthetic just to see if there's any difference. Um, not much, if any. I think maybe the synthetic might be a little bit warmer. Then you gotta look into the pros and cons. Synthetic doesn't really lose much insulation when it gets wet. Down, if it's untreated, like this down, does become less insulative when it's wet. So then you gotta look in uh, size and weight. The synthetic is heavier, the down is lighter. All these little things, both are good. Both might be right for you in certain situations and certain, certain cases, just gotta think about it. So I'm not gonna tell you which one to get. Then you get to the outside. I'm really excited, they, but they, they did this. This is a soft shell material. So this is not like the bottom where it's a hard shell, waterproof, probably not very breathable, but on the top, and this zips all the way around, is a soft shell material so you can expel your moisture so you don't get condensation in our temperatures. That condensation would turn into ice and uh, basically like big snowflakes. So the moisture moved out. I didn't have any condensation on our tent either, so the breathability aspect of this was fantastic. I'm sure it can handle probably some light rain or you know some light snow, but um, it handled what I needed it to do very, very well. So the entirety of the system, I really am a big fan. Coming up later this month here in September, they'll have one size smaller, the 25 inch wide. So you could get two of those into most, uh, most backpacking tents, two person are gonna be 50 inches wide. So that, that could solve a lot of people's backpacking. Not that you want to backpack with this, but if you're using a backpacking, back, backpacking tent for car camping, that could solve that. Or if you just have a car camping or truck camping tent, it might be nice to have two of the 25s for two people as opposed to the 30 and the 30 that is a little bit big. However, my dog Chloe and I did fit in here and I'm, I'm six foot one, 215 foot, 15 pound man. And she's a 65 pound dog and she fit right here. Halfway through the night, she went on the other side. Uh, then this morning we just cuddled and she's in between my legs and she fit. I was so excited. She fit in here with me self-contained sleep system. So as I'm showing you everything here, um, there are accessories galore. There's also this footprint you can get right here. So you can take your muddy boots off before you get into bed. There are pillows. Again, this is a thermal rest pillow. I'd recommend getting these. They pack up really quite small for being a foam pillow. They're very, very comfortable. I always have two, so I like two pillows. Um, the whole setup, is, is individualized. You can customize, you can get synthetic, you can get the down, you can get the bag, um, you can get the pillows, you can get the, the pump. But the basic components are the Born Outdoors bivy sack, basically, that contains the mattress and the sheets. And you start from there and then just build your way up to what you want. I'm really impressed. And like I said, this is one of the best night sleeps I've gotten. I am not kidding. It was super comfortable. I slept in this. I slept in my pants, which are a lightweight hiking bow hunting pan from Kuyu. This is an active insulation jacket uh, from Marmot and just a poly wool t-shirt. I didn't wear my gloves, like I said, or beanie. And I was good to go in my rooftop tent in this system. Your mileage, of course, will vary. I'm pretty cold hardy, so I don't want anybody to go out there and purchase this and then jump in those temperatures and then come back and complain about it to me. But I just want to show you how I used it, where I used it, and what I like about it. It's a cool, cool system. I think Stuart Bourne did a fantastic job with this. Um, I don't know if I'd purchase the bag. Uh, the, I think the bag is very handy for travel, but if I was just being totally efficient, I would just get everything you see right here, roll it up. I get two of them and I would stick it in the truck. And I know my wife and I and dog are good to go. Just like that. <laughs> Anywhere, whether we're camping on a ground tent, in a roof tent, in an RV, or what have you. Also, 
this makes a really good backup for people visiting. We have people visiting from Germany this weekend, and uh, I'm gonna offer them this over our couch. It's wider, it's more comfortable, and I can wash the sheets quicker than I could off the couch. Uh, they sure as heck aren't gonna sleep in the bed with my wife, my dog, and I, so they're gonna get the Born Outdoor system. And they're mountain people, so they'll love it. They'll get a kick out of it. So that's my honest take on it. If you have used the Born Outdoors, please share with our audience how you've used it, where you've used it, what you like about it, anything like that that might be helpful to our audience. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions I might have missed in this review and overview of how we've used it, ask away. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see more content on outdoor gear as we get into the winter for splitboarding, backcountry skiing, and still camping, then consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. Link below. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engagement. Till next time, take care. Mm -hmm.